Hi, this video is going to show you how to use the burn permitting in Station Smarts. Now, the burn permitting process is controlled through the activity tracker. Any records that you create here for a burn permit are going to be displayed in the activity tracker as well. So, you can do any type of reporting or other items that you could do in the activity tracker. They're going to be available for the burn permits as well. Um, so, you can see in the activity tracker, you would normally be looking at this list view but we can click on the permit process and we'll be in the permit processing tab to be able to track our burn permits. Now at the top of the screen is a quick place for us to be able to record what the process is for today. So we have a link out to be able to see what the status is from uh, the state website. We have the date for today and we can place in here whether burning is allowed or not. And if it's not allowed, we can determine who has made it not allowed, whether the state said it or whether something's happening at the fire department that is making it not allowed today. So some departments have said the state may say burning is allowed, but we're short an apparatus and we may not be able to respond um, as quickly as we need to. So the fire department is going to be revoking uh, permits for today. So that's kind of there for you to be able to record that. So anyone coming in to create a permit We'll have that information and we'll be able to see um, if that's allowed and be able to let the person know that's requesting the permit. So let's say that burning is allowed. Now we can come over and create a permit. Now I'm going to create a permit for 1B Street. And you can see that 1B Street has a warning. Um, so we get this message that there is one burn permit restriction for the property location. We need to view the restriction section of the property record for details. So we can actually click that. It's going to open it in a separate tab for us, a separate window. And there's that. It's just a warning. So we're going to go ahead and create the permit. So I'll click New. And you can see it's been created. There's that restriction notice again. There's the pieces telling us um, whether burning was allowed uh, and what this permit range is from. If we need to print this to provide someone with a receipt of their permit, then we can just click that print button and it's gonna be available. We can save it as PDF, email it over to them, or we can print it directly and hand them the piece of paper. And then within the view here, we get a couple of options. So clicking on this action or tracking number, we're going to get that activity tracker sheet we were just looking at. We can, we can click on the property address and that's going to open up the property view just like we were seeing before with the property restrictions. Uh, same with the property restrictions, we get another view to it here like we had in the permit. So we could actually click that and it'll open to that property restrictions as well. We also have an option to be able to mark the last time that we spoke with them. So we could say that we had contact today, that is today, and uh, it records the hour and minute, so we could uh, post in that last communication. Under the property contacts, we have a small view here into some of the contacts that are available, and I've got some information that was already there from the property record, um, and it's just available here, so we can make changes to it if we need to or we can add to it if we get new contact information because of this interaction, then we can do that as well. And if we have more than one contact information, we can mark the preferred method. So let's just say that the, the home address is the preferred method for the email. If you're interested in recording more information, then you can click that show all contact information. It's gonna take you to the property record and you'll have all of the subsets of property information and we can also click this compose email to send it to this one address. So if they need to receive a notification in particular, then we can click that and it's going to send out to that person. We can also verify the driver's license information and to check that box to let everyone know that it's been verified. The last piece I want to show you is the compose email piece. And this allows us to send out a message to everyone in the list view. So we can compose a message and it's going to go out to everyone. We can make changes to it and click send when we're ready. We've been looking at the burn permitting process in Station Smarts. 
If you're interested in learning more, you can go to our website at stationsmarts.com or view more videos on our YouTube channel.